Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of all ages, welcome to Life is Strange. I'm so happy because this episode came out today and luck has it, I have the day off. So, yay! I downloaded it as In soon as it got available and I'm gonna play it until I finish it. Film little pieces of time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> We're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. A lot has happened in the last episode. Got more flashes of the giant ass tornado that's coming. Kate tried to kill herself. Chloe almost got hit by a train. I don't think it can get more intense than that. But let's find out. Oh, so peaceful at night over there. No whack jobs trying to ruin our lives or trying to commit suicide. It's nice. Guess we're gonna sneak out or something. Oh wait, there we are. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Okay, so we're going to meet Chloe. Poor Lisa. I guess I'm better with people than plants. Yeah, I missed the option to water the plant in, I believe, hey, Bunny. episode one, so will be back my soon. bad. And until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Oh, let's check our laptop. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days.
Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Ew. Thanks for the Ugh. image, Nathan. Some and everybody here photo. thinks Samuel is a creeper? <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Time is not our enemy since we can rewind it. So. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, let's see if we can find Chloe. Okay, this is Gary Dark. Let there be... Ah, the taped up Kate's room. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Well, it's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. The people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, let's snoop around a little. This is both sad and pathetic. The inner second writing, where for should write this, you know, and to hate my dumbass forever, and now I collect a tough joke around everybody, but I never had to act around you, the kind of man you deserve, so I post out, if you need any money, let me know, XO Logan. Ah, so Logan's the one that knocked her up. I mean, gave a baby to her. Ah, oh, Victoria Something isn't like that. here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time, going through her shit. Hell yeah, we're going to her shit. Let's see what we can find. Since Victoria is about as straight as me, but she really appreciates style. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Can we just steal these? No. Too bad. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Just take it back, Max. Oh no, then she would know that we were in a room. Yeah, it's probably smart to leave it here. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek.
All right, let's see what her laptop has to say. Oh, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Uh. From Taylor, trip today, she makes it like that. Yeah, it seems like she cares. Only it's easy to do after the fact. She should have thought about that before she messed with Kate. But then again, like she's young, she makes sociopaths. mistakes. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. See, just as I thought Victoria wouldn't be so bad, she does this. Hmm. Still trouble. That's why I put the blame on Victoria. I don't know if that's completely true, but first Rachel and news. now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Ah, some fresh air will fix it. Juliet waiting for you, Kate. Hmm. A little disturbing. Depends on how you interpreted it, but if you read it like that, it's a little disturbing. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. And just checking out this room, you know. Doors unlocked. Just take a look. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Pinky's just looking at girls. Oh wait, more text messages. Hey whore, feminazis will be exterminated, watch out. Mom's proud of us. <laughs> cool stuff. Nothing we can use in this room. No. Oh. It can be as easy as just walk into the room. Or to the door, I mean, where Chloe's waiting for us. It's bound to happen. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Looks 
about to say it's bound to happen that some Samuel trouble or something's coming. But at night. please don't destroy me. Maybe we face David on his night patrol or something. Principal uh, Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me, Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? He said he was going to get expelled? Or something? Hmm. Shame we didn't listen into all of his dialogue. Alright, he has his back turned enough now. Max the Ninja strikes again. Well, that wasn't too hard. Still, it is kind of creepy at night. No, it's nice for the peace and quiet, but it's too quiet. Booyah! Ugh. Jesus. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plans. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so. I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Hmm, let's say about Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Okay, so now we're doing some criminal acts. So much for helping nice. Put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. 
I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus, Victoria, you're such a slut. Blech. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Nice, so we're breaking into the school. We'll find out some secret information now. And no teachers or students are here to block us. So let's see what we can find out in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Okay, we'll break down that door in the next video.